Okay, so first things first, I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, but I'm finally sort of back, so I guess I'll be making videos again. Anyway, make sure you like and subscribe, because I have returned to YouTube, and obviously, that's the first thing you should do. Or if you're already subscribed, just leave a like on the video and a comment for the algorithm, you know how it works, all the fancy stuff. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Machine Builder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up raycasting with commands. So this is going to be a relatively quick tutorial because it's just something small. Uh, this is basically how you use the new execute syntax to create some cool little system. Okay, so first things first, we're in the behavior pack and I just have a manifest set up and then a functions folder. And in this folder, I'm going to make a raycast folder just for neatness and a new file called start.mc function. And this in here, we're going to go ahead and run. <coughs> we're going to go ahead and write execute at s or we're going to go execute at at s anchored eyes so this is the execute syntax that's the new one so this basically means the function will be run at the position of the player and then anchored eyes makes it positioned at the eyes and also rotated at the eyes and then we can go ahead and run function raycast loop and then we make a new file in here, we're going to call this loop.mc function. And in this loop function, we're going to say execute unless block, and then check the block in front of it, which is three carrots, there we go. Is add and we run function raycast slash hit. So basically what this does is it'll check if the block in front of the eyes is air, or in this case is not air, then we run the function raycast hit. So basically when this detects a block, it runs this function. And then what we need to do to actually make this loop, we go execute positioned, and then move one block in front of the eyes. If block here is air, then we run function raycast loop. So this will then, each iteration, it'll move forwards one block in the direction of the eyes and then check if the block there is air, and then if it is, we run the function raycast loop. So this will just repeat this function from the new position. So progressively, it'll move further away one block at a time. And then obviously once it doesn't hit air, it'll stop running this loop and it will just run this. In which case we need this file, so hit.mc function. And in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and write like set block diamond block so that we can see when the raycast stops. Now we head back in here, reload, and then we can go ahead and run raycast start and now you see diamond block right here so when we run raycast start it'll just send out a raycast from our eyes and then whenever it hits a block it'll place a diamond block so you can see like that but there is also an issue where if you look like through a block uh, like this angle maybe there we go so you can see sometimes it goes through the block and that's because the raycast is only jumping once every single block so sometimes it can cut through a corner. And a way you can avoid that is by decreasing this value to like 0 0.25. And this means it'll only jump a quarter of a block every time. So now it should be more accurate. So even if we go like a little bit off, it's still gonna hit that block because it's going only a quarter. So it's a very close thing, but also still a chance it'll miss if you go really close and there's not much you can do about that because you don't want to make it too not performant. So it's best to just use a single block as your step. Anyway, that was this super quick tutorial on raycasting, and it's actually very useful. So I'll actually give you a demo of how this can be used in other applications. So this world is where I've been testing some raycasting things. And over here, you can see I have this terrain brush. Uh, again, you can, you can probably tell this is from my world edit brush kind of thing that I made a while ago, uh, but I'm remaking it. Uh, anyway, so this is using raycasting again to just create some piles of sand wherever I'm looking. And I also set up a system so I can go to scoreboard and I can set the brush mode to different sizes. So I have some predefined things here that we can use. And then I also created this thing which just like fills the terrain. But that's a topic for another video. So don't worry about that. I hope you enjoyed this raycasting tutorial. And make sure you like and subscribe because it's all free and you legally have to now because you saw the sign at the start of the video, so you have to sub. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.